Hello everyone, my name is Dan Lynch and I'm going to show you a product I've been working on that utilizes existing standards to help us document science. Let's first talk briefly about LaTeX. LaTeX is a typesetting language that derived from tech which was built by Donald Knuth in 1978 after much frustration in typesetting. If you're not familiar with typesetting, it allows you to use text to create a stylized document. It's the standard de facto for academic publishing and has been so for the last 30 years. Probably the more important feature, in my opinion, is that you can write beautiful math. And you can do so in expressing using text. And thanks to things like MathJax, we can now do this on the web. The goal of this project, however, is to extend the work that MathJax has done for graphics. Now, PS Tricks is a package built on top of tech, and you can create really beautiful diagrams that have a consistent look and feel. And you can also intermix the graphics with mathematics. And what I've done with this platform is taken the exact output that you would see on a PDF, and I've done all the coordinate transformations necessary to render all these onto an SVG element in a web page, using HTML5 so that it works on Android, iPad, iPhone, any device that supports HTML5. And if you notice, it's vector graphics. So it scales very cleanly. It's good for printing. Um, but the nice thing about this framework is it actually also will help you output to PDF, or a web page. And you can use some fun things, um, different kind of colorful graphs and um, you know diagrams and schematics and things um, and intermix them all with math symbols. Here's a nice little system there. And th the cool thing is that in addition to graphics I wanted to take this one level further and say how can we help the math and physics professors out there who have a lot of mathematical and scientific ideas but they're not programmers, and we shouldn't have to teach them how to program. But maybe they have some concepts that if they were able to express those ideas, it would help students learn better. And so this is sort of my attempt at taking a typesetting language and mapping it to an interactive programming language, um, especially since most academicians already understand typesetting. So this is, could be an example of engaging a student which, with learning about a vector. And instead of a PS line, if you're familiar with PS tricks, it's a user line. Same exact syntax. I also added a feature where you can add functions on the end of x and y. And what happens is, on a user event, whether it's a touch or a mouse input event, it will give you the x and y values during, of that event so that you can use them for arbitrary functions. And then it produces a very fun effect where you can have very much freedom in creating your interactivity. And if you already know PS tricks in tech, then it's very simple for you to create something like this. You can also do something more useful. Here's an example of a unit circle, and I'm taking the trigonometric components of a vector e to the i omega minus alpha. And you can see I also have a unit vector that's staying within the unit circle. So you can teach basic trigonometry. You can also get into more complex and real components. You can also teach students really basic calculus concepts, uh, for example, integration. That was done using a user variable. I'll just zoom in real quick. You can define a user variable, the variable name, the initial values of x and y, and then here's the function of x and y that happens during the user event. And then I can use that variable inside of the function of the PS plot value. Oops, there, sorry. So here's another example where maybe you want to do some sort of fun stuff with integration over an interval. Maybe you want to do a positive, fully positive integral. Maybe you want to do a fully negative integral. Maybe you want to show students sometimes why integrals are zero. That always was a hard concept for some people to understand. So the other thing I added was a slider. Sliders are very nice because you can set minimum maximum values. Here's a low pass filter. As you increase n, it turns into a comb filter. This was created using the slider command. So if you're familiar with PS tricks, you just insert a slider. You have the minimum, maximum. Here's the variable n, which again, you can use inside the equation. The LaTeX for the capital N, which is what's displayed next to the slider. And the initial value. And you can do other fun stuff. Maybe you want two sliders. You can have as many sliders as you want. Here I'll change the frequency of a sync function. 
Here's another example where maybe you want to teach a student the basics of what a derivative is, maybe the, the slope of the curve. And sometimes students can then get an instantaneous understanding of what it means to, to have a derivative, whereas before it was just a, a, a abstract concept. So in general, I think this platform is fun if you're an author, if you're creating. I also think it's fun if you're a student. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. Um, the other great thing is that all of these will output to PDF. And so it's a platform where you can build the interactivity in, and you can also f sort of freeze that interactivity and save it to a PDF uh, at any time. Well, thanks for your time. I hope you enjoy. Have a wonderful day.